Hello friends, you know what time it is. It is cafecito time, so make sure you stick around. Hello everyone, my name is Veronica and welcome to my channel, House of Sid, where I make videos about coffee recipes, coffee reviews, coffee adventures, and everything from the wonderful world of coffee, especially our favorite coffee, well, my favorite coffee, Nespresso. Today I have a video for you guys, another new capsule. There's been a lot lately that have been released, so I'm trying to catch up and review them all and you know, just make sure I let you guys know about these capsules because I know a lot of times, I know when I first started with Nespresso, um, it could get overwhelming with all the coffee, so I would watch videos on YouTube and see the reviews of the coffee and decide if I want to try them or not. So I decided to make my own videos for you guys. Okay, so today's coffee we're going to taste is the new Barista Creation Sweet Vanilla. So if you are familiar with Nespresso, they had a vanilla capsule in the Barista Creations previously called a Vanilla Custard Pie. I do have a review on that. I will link it. Um, and let me tell you right now, I did not like it. That was like of my all time least favorite capsules from Nespresso. There's very few capsules that I really did not like, that I never repurchased, that I didn't even drink them. I think I ended up giving them to my sister um, or my family members that have Nespresso. Yeah, it was a, it was a no bueno. It was, I remember I put on the thumb on the thumbnail, drink or dump. That was a dump. I mean, I would never throw away coffee because I don't like to be wasteful, but I, I wasn't drinking it. But let's see. Let's see if this one is any better. I'm willing to give it another try. It is reformulated capsule. So it is now called Sweet Vanilla, Creamy and Sweet. It is from the Barista Creations. Um, 125 per capsule and 12.50 for the box. You get 10. Let's see what it says. This flavored blend delights with a classic vanilla flavor, which I enjoy putting vanilla syrup in my coffee. So that's good. Um, combined with sweet biscuit, candied, and cereal notes coming from its delicate arabica base. Okay, vanilla flavor with other natural flavors, roast and ground coffee. Ingredients: roast and ground coffee natural flavors okay this is a 7.7 .7 fluid ounces mug size so eight ounces and let's see what it says here uh reverso i don't know what that means but it says it on here a lot of times some of the stuff they put on the boxes isn't necessarily the same that they put on the website i have my ipad here bitterness one acidity one roastiness two and same info as it has there it says um just for you or to share with loved ones insider tip a dash of milk highlights the vanilla flavor all the more okay so this is the new boxes for the barista creations just black and you know as we know this indicates the color of the capsule So that is the capsule. I do like the look of the capsules. They are pretty. The colors with the swirl on there. Good. Good job, Nespresso. Okay, now let's see if they did a good job with the flavors. Okay, my machine. And you guys, I've kind of been enjoying my little virtual pop. I know a lot of people have had issues in the past with the next machines. Cross my fingers. I have not had any issues. Knock on wood, it's been good. So let's try the, the sweet vanilla. So if you've tried this one, let me know in the comments what you think of it. Did you enjoy it? Did you drink it? Did you dump it? Are you repurchasing it? I know these um, barista creation flavors have been kind of hit or miss. The caramel one I did, if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it. I didn't really enjoy it. Um, not because it was awful, but you can't taste the caramel. So 
you're making me buy a caramel flavored coffee, but I don't taste the caramel. So I, I just didn't, you know, enjoy it. I'd rather just put caramel syrup or creamer in my other regular coffees. So let's see. Again, this machine gives a lot of crema. So if you have a next machine, let me know if your machine gives you a lot of foam, a lot of crema when you brew it, or is it just the pop? I don't know. I've never had a next machine. This is my first one. Um, my brother and my niece have the regular next machine, so I don't recall if their machines make this much crema. We shall see. So there it is. And I noticed with the barista creations, they don't really have like an intensity level like the other coffees do, you know, between one through 11. I don't know why. So let's get rid of some of this crema because it's a little too much. Okay, so I'm going to mix it up a bit and then I'm going to try. Okay, this one smells vanilla unlike the caramel one. I'm definitely getting vanilla from this, which is a good sign. Okay, I'm gonna try it black and then I'll try it with some creamer. Oh, okay, okay, I'm getting vanilla. I'm getting, I'm getting vanilla and a sweet biscuit flavor. Ooh, okay, this, this one actually, is, is starting off a little bit better. Oh, okay. Definitely much better than the vanilla custard pie. I could tell you that right now, right off the bat. Okay, let's add some creamer. I just use, um, I just use um, half and half. And I typically don't add, um, sugar or sweetener, unless it's a, a flavored syrup. Okay, a little bit more. Okay. That's actually, that's actually not bad. I mean, compared to the vanilla custard pie, I didn't like. This one I can drink. This one I will enjoy. Um, it would definitely taste really good if you add it like a little flavored or a sweetener, but I'm trying not to, you know, add extra sweetener into my coffee. But you guys, not bad at all. I will definitely drink this one. Um, compared to the vanilla custard pie, this one is much better. So good job, Nespresso. Um, the caramel, what was that one called? Um, sweet caramel, what was it called? Yeah, that one I did not enjoy. And apparently some of you in the comments said that that was not your favorite either. Let's see. Golden caramel was a thumbs down. Sweet vanilla, thumbs up. Definitely an improvement, um, which I think was the whole point of them revamping these uh, flavored uh, barista creations was to improve them and some, I don't think they did. I still need to try the chocolate. So let me know, uh, sweet vanilla, are you drinking it? Are you buying it? Are you enjoying it? Do you like this sweet vanilla better? compared to the vanilla custard pie. I definitely like it much better. Hmm, this will probably taste good with some of my cookies. I have been wanting to try these cookies forever. I see a lot of people talk about it online, especially in the UK and Europe, and I finally found them and I'm so excited. They're so good. So, mm -hmm. your little Biscoff cookies, with your vanilla, sweet vanilla. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Sweet vanilla is a thumbs up. 
Definitely enjoying it more than the previous vanilla custard pie. If you like my videos, you know what to do. <laughs> Give us a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let's do our little cafe. Ca Leave me a comment. Let's do our little cafecito chat in the comments. And if you're not subscribed and you're watching my video, you need to subscribe because um, so many videos coming up, so many videos I've done. You know, go back and check them out if you're new. I'm reviewing all the new capsules from Nespresso and I have some others coming, you know, in the next coming weeks. And yeah, summertime is going to be here. So I think we need to start doing some summertime recipes. Let me know. Let me know also in the comments, you know, if there's any other videos you would like to see or anything else you guys would like me to share. I love hearing from you guys. Hope you're enjoying your cafecito and we'll see you until next time. Bye. I'm going to enjoy my sweet vanilla and cookies. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.